Hi, I'm Dr. Magreet Wibbeling, midwife specialist and your host of the Birth and Baby Show, brought to you by Sister Lillian Center and Sensitive Midwifery. We empower moms and midwives to have the best birthing and parenting experience through natural, physiological and intuitive care, resulting in birth and baby advice you can trust. Welcome back to another episode. I'm so glad that you're tuning in and I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful series that we've been working on. Today we've got a brand new birthing story for you and we're still talking about the birth options. And this woman decided to do a water birth at home. This was her third pregnancy and she brought her daughter with Lisa, who was actually the labor support for mom during this birth. What a precious story. You're going to enjoy this one. So I'm here with two of my babies <laughs> and their mother. We're busy with a series on birth options and I, I'm very excited about this, this specific episode. Um, we're going to be talking about a home birth and water birth and a whole lot of more. Um, so welcome Daniela. Thank you so much. And Lisa and the little chat. Noah. Hello. I'm glad that you all come in. Now, and Lisa, I want to um, just say up front, or maybe she wants to tell. Lisa, you were part of this birth, right? Yeah, you saw your, your brother being born. Yeah, Lisa is actually a little midwife too. She helped me and she, was, she just loved it. Hey, it was beautiful, huh? Yeah. So Daniela, um, tell us about your your birth story. So welcome to share about from the first one even, and then yes, so because I think um, it's it fits into the the, yes. the story. Yeah. So um, Lisa was my first home birth. Um, my first child was um, born in the hospital, um, and that was a very unpleasant experience actually. So that motivated me to look into home birth. And um, then I decided to have Lisa at home, um, which was awesome is that I really prayed about uh, a home birth because it's not really common in South Africa. Um, and then God brought Margreet on my path, um, which was a miracle. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I had Lisa at home. Um, and it was a very, I mean, birth is, it is painful, but it was, it was a beautiful birth. Um, and um, I have such a good memory about it. And hmm. um, it was such a peaceful uh, experience to bring Lisa into this world. Um, and Noah, um, my fourth child, my third uh, pregnancy, there was no doubt in my mind I wanted a, a home birth again. Mm. And I was hoping that you would be available. <laughs> and then you were available, mm. luckily, because you were not doing as many home births anymore. Yeah. Um, so I felt super blessed. And um, again, a very pleasant experience, which I look back with very fond memories and beautiful memories. Um, again, it was painful, I'm not going to lie, mm. um, but there's where the water part comes in, the water birth. It really mm. helps with the pain uh, relief and you have lots of other options for natural pain relief. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's really good to think about that. And yeah. So Daniela, I want to unpack your story a little bit, okay, because I think you, there's, a, there's a lot that yeah. people can learn from. So. It is quite interesting. Um, one thing that you said is that um, home birth is not really a, no a thing in South Africa, and you had to face that, right, in your yes. story. Um, I didn't even know it was an option. Uh huh. So it, it wasn't part of your options. Yeah, I didn't know. If, if I had known, I would definitely have uh, opted for home birth with so my first child, even. You would have, first hey? So, pregnancy. so what was your frame of reference How, you, before you had children? You about birth. Um, well, I grew up in the Nether Netherlands, so I had an aunt who had a home birth, so I, I was completely open to home birth, but once we settled in South Africa, it was very, yeah, it was just, it's, I didn't really think about it, it was the common thing to do was to go to the hospital and go to your OB mm. and go to all your checkups and have your baby in the hospital. Um, so I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind to, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's interesting because the Netherlands is um, uh, known for for home births and for midwife-led births. So in the Netherlands, it's uh, actually the model country in the midwifery world on how they've um, arranged it. So every woman goes to a midwife for her pregnancy and her checkups and um, only a doctor is only involved if there's a reason for it. Like a doctor is a highly... Um, trained, specialized. medicalized, yeah. trained specialist, yeah. especially obstetrician. They go, they go for years of specialization. And um, in Holland, they've understood that midwives are the experts when it comes to natural birth and natural pregnancies. And that pregnancy is not a sickness. It's exactly. a natural life event where um, doctors only come when it has become more of a sickness because yes. there's complications yes. so that is when a doctor needs to come in and they really hold hands doctors and midwives and it works in a beautiful system that is set up for that okay. so in south africa it's unfortunately not the case uh, especially when you have the option and you sh to to and the luxury of private care um with medical aids so you pay a lot of money and then there's actually not that many options <laughs> no no and even in the hospital um, I didn't feel like I have had, I mean, all the people working there were absolutely trying their best and, and they were meaning well, but I, I didn't feel like I had options at all. Uh, wow. Once checked in, I just felt like I had to surrender to whatever was the routine there and um, to, to the detriment of, of the birth of my first, uh, my second child, my first pregnancy. Um, so sure. for example like cervix checks or I didn't know that it that you can actually I mean it's your birth you can say like I don't want that many cervix, cervix checks or mm. um, and um, yeah yeah just the, the whole environment is completely different mm. you, do, you don't I mean birth especially your first birth it's you don't know what to expect and um, yeah, in the hospital, you you don't really feel at ease. It's not easy to yeah. to get comfortable. And, yeah, yeah, and to and to surrender and relax. Yeah, right? I absolutely yeah. did not relax and. Yeah. Yeah. So it ended up being a high high intervention. Yes. Yeah. Very much interventions. One intervention leading mm -hmm. to the next. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I didn't, and that was also my mistake. I didn't uh, educate, and that would also be my advice to. Uh, pregnant couples to educate yourself um, about even the anatomy of how baby is born and how your baby is uh, laying in uh, positions in your pelvis um, and what birth, birth positions uh, are going to ease that to uh -huh. get the baby out and and I didn't know about all that and I was just laying on my back because that's how you're supposed to lay and now I understand the anatomy of that is is just it's works um, it's not working with you during yeah. the birthing process. But I didn't even realize I have an option here. I can uh. choose to change positions. I just sort of yeah. I th I guess too compliant to all the um, yeah. yeah. So what's most easy for the for the doctor to yeah. to um. Yeah, and to the routines that I've developed that works. Yeah, so you, you're quite right. So actually, you don't have too much options once you hit the hospital. And it's and you've got to conform quite to a certain approach to birth. Yes, which that's it. It's an approach. And it is a very highly medicalized approach to birth. And that is something you need to understand. There's something like a natural approach to birth and a medical approach to birth. So let's fast forward then to your birth experiences um, where you felt like this is an all natural experience. And how, how did that go for you? A contraction started in the night when I was uh, one week past my due date. Um, which had happened before, so I was not too... Uh, I didn't want to get my hopes up because I really was excited for the birth to begin. Mm. Um, so, uh, but they were very irregular. Um, and then, yeah, just to, get, to give you an idea, I just felt so relaxed because I knew I can call you at any minute. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I have everything we need in, in, in the home and... Um, my husband's gonna be 
uh, with me. Uh, even I didn't need to take care of siblings, um, arranging uh, care for them. They were all um, part of the birth. They um, we spoke to them. They were they could make their own choice if they wanted to be there in the room. They were um, welcome to leave the room at any time they wanted. Um, we, obviously, we, we prepared them and we spoke to them. Um, mommy's going to be in a lot of pain. There might be some screaming, <laughs> but don't worry. It's all okay. We talked about God's design um, for natural birth. A woman's body is designed to give birth. God designed it so brilliantly. Um, even pain relief. Um, all those hormones and everything works together like a symphony or for like an orchestra almost. Mm. Um, and that's what I experienced. Yes, I did have pain, um, but it was um, very doable and I felt so supported and um, uh, at mm. ease, mm. Uh, at peace, at ease. And uh, so, yeah. So to, to give my birth story, um, my contractions picked up, then they died down again, then they picked up. So I, I uh, messaged Margreet and I said, what's going on? I am so confused. Like my contractions are painful. I don't know what's happening. And then it was so good to hear you said like, it's completely normal. You've probably just, it will pick up at any time now and then it will um, go through. And that's exactly what happened. I even had to cancel my checkup because I had an, an extra checkup just to make sure everything was still okay. Um, and um, and that's also a thing. It's, it's home birth is not um, like, I mean, you have your checkups. Um, you, you have, yeah. <laughs> this show is proudly sponsored by Bonnie Care. Bonicare is a digestive tonic and herbal complex for babies and children to aid in relieving stomach cramps and it therefore assist with colic, indigestion, cramps, poor appetite and bloating. Bonicare is baby's best friend and it is a product of Tip Health Sciences available in all leading pharmacies. Yes, I think you were trying to say that it's it's not that you don't have medical checks and that it's exactly. that it's a dangerous experience exactly yeah and also like you came um okay so let me go chronological so you mm. um you uh, i messaged you and we cancelled the appointment with my backup ob um which was really happy about because i just didn't want to go <laughs> to the hospital and um um, then my husband said, I can, maybe I can get some grocery shopping done before the baby. And uh, I said, no, now we really need to stay at home. Mm. Uh, and then um, we messaged Margreet and um, you said, uh, I will just come over because, yeah, I can, I was worried that she would sit around, but... I knew. Yeah, <laughs> you knew. <laughs> should have known. <laughs> so Margreet came over, I think it was around um, half past 11 and then my contractions really started to pick up and I was so happy. I was, um, I had two midwives because uh, midwife Lisa, uh, not this Lisa, she was also a midwife but a little midwife but the other midwife Lisa was also there which was really awesome. So I had two midwives, I had my whole family there and I couldn't feel more relaxed and supported. Yeah. And I was in pain, but um, I mean, by the grace of God, you have these breaks in between and I really use them to catch my breath and to get through that other contraction. And then um, you check the heartbeats of the baby on, on, the, on the couch. Everybody could listen in, it was amazing. Um, everybody was just... Um, doing their thing around me draw the kids were drawing and coloring and just going on with life the fire was burning <laughs> it was a nice was, cold winter day yeah the fire was burning <laughs> and um yeah um yeah lisa midwife lisa said like maybe you should go wee and empty your bladder and that's after that things really start to pick up and i knew okay the birth is not is not far away now anymore. Mm. So we went upstairs and you got the bathtub running. 
um, I really had then I really had trouble to get the through the contractions um, but my husband was such an amazing support and all my other children were cheering me on and encouraging me Elisa what did you say come up mama good so weer and we what say you all tegen mama you can it mama toch dat zei je and you ging me ook helpen she also rubbed my back and very cute. Yeah. And um, yeah, I went into the bathtub and um, I didn't even had any cervix checks done. Not that I um, would ha am against the, those, but I just this time around with her, I think I had mm. one or two checks, but I did, I did feel like maybe it will discourage me if I know, you know, so I just wanted to go along with my body and then I really felt pressure to push and before I knew it <laughs> maybe no I was born yeah and it was so joyful yeah it was and a really um, joyful moment. Ugh, the the siblings were all around because it was it was this was at one o'clock in the afternoon so everybody was awake, awake yeah. and um, mm -hmm. yeah they were so happy to meet their baby brother and then after that was also a wonderful experience. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Daniela, I, I have fond memories of your birth. And um, I know that if you can do it, it's it's an option for way more women. Because some women might think, oh, that's lucky for, good for her. But the way I've, I've gotten to know you is also that you also had to mentally prepare. You by nature also not the most like go with the flow a la natural. You no, also had to really absolutely. consciously keep yourself calm. Yeah, and, um, absolutely. And, you know, and, but it is for any kind of woman actually. Yeah. And um, I think it, what makes your story so useful is to, to realize the difference of um, going somewhere and let everyone else do this birth almost for you and dictate you what to do and hey no I am doing this birth and I'm actively involved and um, having people around you supporting you in that journey. Yes and my faith also really helped me to get mm. to surrender, surrender this birth so, to God. He made my body, he made this baby, yeah. um, he knows exactly uh, what I need, what will happen so that also really helped me um, yeah. through this birth. And to not have fear. To I not have I... fear, yes. Because that... fear will really uh, interfere mm. with the birthing process. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, sometimes people also think with, with home birth that it might be a bit of a lot of preparation. And what do you all need? Nothing much. I only got linen savers linen this savers. time around. Yeah. Everything you need, you already have in the home, basically. Um, yeah, just get some linen savers. But... It, that's also a beauty of a, a birth in the bathtub. We didn't didn't need to clean up a lot. Um, mm. um, it's also it feels very private in the bath because you're underwater, so somehow it feels very mm. yeah, private and you feel almost more tucked in. Yeah, ah, something like, like that. that. Yes, and um, <laughs> yeah. It, um, also, for the siblings, I mean, it's not like they they saw a lot of blood or anything because it was in the bathtub and they didn't even see yeah. that much. So they just saw that the baby came out of the... Noah came out of the water. Mm. And, um, yeah, what I, I mostly prepared for pain relief um, to make sure I had warm water, bottles, um, maybe some essential oils, um, mm. um they all help. I mean, they won't take away the pain, but they help. Yeah. And uh, I just uh, uh, refreshed my memory about birth positions because that's yeah really important. Don't go lie on your back. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, just know you can go do what your body feels like doing. It's usually moving around. And that's also the moving around is what helps your baby move down to th in the birth canal. Mm. And, and Lisa, she could not wait to meet little baby brother. I had to Noah. promise that I would wake her if the baby, if Noah would be born in the night. I, I had to promise her I would wake her. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and then tell tell what you did with Margreet. Something really special. Oh um, yeah. Something to do with cutting. Oh, the cord again. The cord. Cutting. Mm. You mag het ook in het Nederlands zeggen. Mm. You cut the... 
Hmm. The cord. <laughs> Do you remember you cut the cord? Oh. It's Margeet. You helped, you helped Margeet with everything. That was so special. Yeah, it was very really special. The siblings were so involved in mm. everything after the birth. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it was even for me a, a good lesson to learn as a midwife because um, to see really how, how beautiful and natural it is for children. Because um, oftentimes we want to get the children out of the way yeah, because we think they can't scary. handle it. Yeah. But it, it helps us also to rethink birth and um, to make it part of our culture and the more we involve children even our conversations about it and exposure about it then you can see how natural it is and that's almost i'm sure it will set them up for their birth stories you yeah know, how they sure. approach it and that it's beautiful and that it's natural and you don't powerful. need to be scared it's, yeah you don't need to be scared of it so um that was for me so beautiful to see how, how they react and every child ch- ca- child on its own Absolutely, Not everyone yeah. wants to be that involved. But no, and we probably, ask them if they want to. link to her calling to have yeah. seen this. I, I yeah. wouldn't know. We will see. <laughs> she did say that she wanted to be a midwife after that. Yeah. <laughs> Net as Margrethe. Eh? Mm. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so, such a beautiful story, story. What a journey. Also, it's your last or can I, can I do this again? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Who no, knows? really, uh, I'm open minded, but. Uh, uh, I think Cor is a bit, <laughs> but we still have one seat. Uh, oh, you still have one seat in the car? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for sharing and coming in. And, um, yeah, great pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. giving my babies. I, you don't know what, to, it's such a great gift. It's, it's um, maybe some people think like, but it's only a once uh, off experience and it's done. And then, but it's, um, it just sets you up somehow and it's um, how you start with your baby to mm. me it was really important and yeah. it was a great gift that you gave and you were re- uh, a huge blessing mm. to us yeah thanks thanks Daniela for pointing that out um, we know <laughs> I wish every woman could experience uh, yeah oh, could experience absolutely it. yeah I would yeah, yeah wish I, that for all, all women yeah for way more at least yes mm. So let's just um, think of the possibilities. When is a home birth possible? It is obviously if you have a skilled midwife that knows how to facilitate that. And also um, normally everything goes 100% fine a la natural. But if things does happen that needs interventions, midwives are highly skilled to handle that at home. So that is often a fear for people to consider this. It's like, what if? It's the what ifs fear. What if I can't handle the pain? And then what if something needs to go go wrong and what do we do then so um as daniela said there's lots of things you can do to manage the pain and water is a wonderful pain relief um, for birth um, but it's also different positioning massage there's a lot we can do and then if there are complications we are skilled to manage them on the spot whether it comes to postpartum bleeding if we need to if there's some stitches. tearing stitches we manage it if baby needs some extra support we bring oxygen we bring a drip we we can stabilize a mom and we can always still refer to a hospital if need be and that is the other really important factor is that there is a backup in place so in order for a home birth to be safe you also need to know that you also need to see a doctor or at least have a doctor that has agreed to be your backup. And we work with a doctor and decide then to let you also go for a few checkups that at least she also knows you or he. And um, then during the birth, I let the doctor know like, hey, we're busy with you. I think I only said afterwards because things went so fast. But um, <laughs> she said, yeah, baby's I can- out. <laughs> I cancelled. Yeah. I said like, I'm cancelling my checkup today because I'm in labor. Yeah. So. <laughs> was well, a funny conversation right. <laughs> so yeah home birth is actually almost in in many circumstances safer because you it facilitates a natural birth way more than an, a fearful environment like a yeah, i can testify like to it. my story is uh, really yeah for me it felt way safer and uh, yeah my my experience so much better at home yeah than the hospital yeah so it's important that uh, the the right birth happens at the right place Um, We had a previous story of a woman that needed to be in hospital, baby needed NICU afterwards and she somehow knew she needed to to do it that way. So, um, and you knew you needed another way and a home birth and you went and searched and you found me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So research your options, go find out a midwife. There are lots of amazing midwives 
um, that you can search. We list a lot of midwives on our website. You can look and find a professional um, and um, do, do your research and find out all your options and then make an informed decision that witness with, with your heart. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. So nice to see you again, Lisa. Thank you for having us. Yeah. And maybe till next time. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, please share this with a friend who will benefit from this. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we release new videos like this on our channel. We'd love to stay in touch and keep you updated with all our latest content and resources to equip and empower you. So if you're a midwife or any type of birth and baby worker, go to sensitivemidwifery.co.za slash free gift. If you're a mom, visit sisterlillian.co.za slash free gift for more training and resources. That way we can keep you up to date when we release new episodes like this plus a few other bonuses. You can also find the links I just mentioned in the show notes. Remember, you're making a big difference because you are shaping the future of humankind. Thanks for watching and I look forward to journeying with you. Pregnancy is a time of great change and excitement, but it can also be a time of uncertainty. The Sister Lillian Center Essential Antenatal Course will help you journey through your pregnancy better by arming you with the information you need to make informed choices about your health and well-being so you can have a healthy pregnancy experience and make the right choices for your birth. Click the link in the show notes or visit sisterlillian.co.za slash pregnancy to find out more about this invaluable course. And hey, if you're enjoying the content, remember to share this with a fellow mommy or friend. 